What's up guys, Eterno here and today I will play on my Katarina Smurf 51 gains, 76% win rate and 9 month placements. Let's start with Dark Seal and I'll be playing against Cartus with Teleport. So probably I'm gonna focus on farming because he can just return. Boot start is also good against Cartus because you can dodge way more Qs. In mind to use Q when it's about to bounce, so on the bounce you can also get last hit. Let's see, they have Shaco, so I can expect some in the gank. Our 2v2 is worse than theirs. I uh, need to keep in mind, Shivana cannot impact in the game as much as Shaco. But here it comes, nice, nice engage. Wait, Shivana is so shocked for that kill. Well, it was clear. Not sure if he was baiting me because Shaco pinged on mid or he just overextended. But let's get longsword and boots. So now boots will help me in dodging these kills. I think he's going bot, so I'm gonna pink my bot lane. And as Katarina, it's important to follow your jungler. Keep in mind to impact the 2v2 or when your jungler is going on enemy buffs or just you need some map pressure with Katarina because she can follow up way faster than enemy meat usually, especially when it's a mage, Cartus type of mage or control mage. And by the time your enemy follows, it will be already over. So use that advantage, try to roam as much as you can, but keep your lane pushed of course. I kind of want to push mid and try something on bot lane. Okay, let's try to roam. But from which side? I think this. So I have more time. This should be something. And let's go from this side. Oh, Shaco was there. Shit, I forgot that. I won't have reset in time. He speed me up. Nice, yeah. Zillian has great synergy with Katarina. And so far so good. Just I just wait for my Q and then I engage on minion W. Try to position yourself. I mean when doing this combo with your passive, try to stand as close to your enemy so that he gets the damage from your passive while standing in your circle range. He's not able to kill me. What was that damage, guys? You see? This time I wasn't able to damage him from my passive. So let's see, I think I can try something on top lane. Shivana wants Infernal board. it's Shivana, she can do that without me. And nice, Garen did some nice poke. He's not recalling, this should be a kill. Just, I hope that he won't overextend. He did it way too early, guys, like... It was an obvious skill. All he had to do was to even get back and let me finish up, instead he went for 1v1 and died. So that's his mistake, not mine. But at least I got a kill. And from this point you can really carry the game, just remember not to die in a stupid way. I just wait for Shivana a bit using W. He has no flash, so... Yeah, she took the kill, but it's nice I have 4 kills. 
It's fine. And from this point you want to max E, of course, to have your resets faster. 3 makes a difference later in the game. Well, let's see. They are low health. Okay, they died without my help. Having trash is like... I could try, but... Waste of time, better get items. And usually I'm getting Cutlass first, because it has nice active, the slow additional damage, and also the attack damage scales with Katarina skills, making her in the game even better. And now it's really easy to kill Kavus, I think. So, first I just get this wave, and then I engage, unless this happens, so. This is fine too. Shit. Okay. So he ulted and I saw myself above 200 health and I thought that I survived. And by doing that, now I can get my gun blade. And because of the fact that I'm using Ingenious Hunter, I will have my active way faster and it really makes a difference. I think this is the best rune for her, better than additional healing for example, because Gunblade active often makes a difference in getting a kill or not. And now I can just really snowball the game in my way. Constantly looking at the map, so Urgot is overextended again. He's pushing way too much, makes it so easy for me. Okay, this time Darren didn't need help. I'm not done with him, I can kill him, guys. He actually, he actually managed to survive. <laughs> no, no, no. Guys, that was so strange. So at first I thought that I just Q and ignite and if I time it right, he would get the damage because of his ultimate, but instead he timed it right and dodged some damage. But it still went so good. I will help Shivana and if Urgot comes, I just kill him. So, Katarina is not good at taking objectives, but if she has done her in the game well, she can just help your allies as much as she can by just doing some damage, making sure that your allies get this objective. And that's Herald is for me. Okay, let's use Herald. more advantage. That was the first turret, nice. Now I need to get back to mid lane. He will scare him, I think. Didn't even have to use my ultimate. Not overextending for the turret. Let's see if he comes this way. Okay, so he checked that first. 
<laughs> Invisibility effect didn't help him because I knew where the dagger will land. Should I out push or try to roam? It's making it so easy for me, guys. Oh, thank you, Jin. That was great W. But I need to stand close to Zillian in case Cartus will out. I hope he understands that, but now I have so much hope that he won't be able. <laughs> no guys, please. Wait, how come I couldn't catch my passive? <laughs> Bad calculation. But that was strange, I was sure that I just pick up my dagger and go in. But maybe it was better for me, because if I went in, I would die from Caldus Ultimate. And guys, remember one important thing that is one of the reasons why I have such nice win rate on this account. Remember to always stay with your team, don't split push lanes just to have a better creep score. You need to be there always to impact. Basically, you want to prevent your allies from throwing the game. So sacrificing some CS just for the outcome of your game is great. Once I started playing like that, I increased my win rate immediately. What is he doing? Try to look for these opportunities to get a kill from your passive. Like this. No, not gonna, not gonna win that slow fishy. My ally was able to kill him anyway, and Trash could be there and hook me. I mean, why would I throw and give my enemies around 1,000 gold? You no. Know? And with this strategy, even though I'm not farming, I'm still living up on the kills and also making my AD carry ahead because he can get all the CS. Since it's a team game, it's much harder to carry as one, so it's good to spread some gold with your allies. Just to make sure. Now as I said, I don't want to split. I need to join my allies. Something can happen because you can see enemies heading this way. Okay, need to help Garen because we won't be able to take this threat. No, not, now it's not so good. We need to get away. Wait, how exactly I didn't kill him? No, he's bad. died but way too late wait where is he he got away kill still <laughs> now it's a baron no jungler they will try to stop us. Fast combo. Hmm. 
Hmm, nice. I survived. Okay, Karen is doing a good job in letting us take this Baron, but I think that my teammates didn't start in time. They could start it much faster. It seems that there's no vision anyway. Ah, so, or not? It better to Rika right now. I have Zonia, so I can go in. Can he speed me up. No range. I tried to do the combo with Gunblade, but he dashed. Damn, Trash is annoying for Katarina. Is the only real threat. Card who's overextended again would be a kill. Ah, I'm on vision. Oh. He predicted that quite well. Okay, Shivana is pushing. Zonia, better to Zonia, justice. Killing a bit. Let's recall fast. Ah, never mind. I thought I just recall. Because Kartus was about to ult all top and finish the game, that should be. But I'm not sure if my team will do as I said. It's the best thing to do right now. But instead he's throwing a bit. Okay, team fight is good as well. If we are so ahead, so we just finished the game. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Hope that you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you next time.